Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we are going to go over question one of the final exam review for Math 206.5. Given theta is equal to 7 pi over 6, A, we want to convert theta to degrees. To do that, we're going to use the unit factor of 180 degrees over pi and we're going to multiply it to our theta. So we have 7 pi over 6 times 180 over pi. This thing is called a unit factor just meaning it's equal to 1 because 180 degrees is the same thing as uh, pi, or it's in the same location as pi. What do we have here? We can cancel the pi's, and then 6 goes into itself, and it goes into 180 30 times. Multiplying straight across, 7 times 30 is 210. So 7 pi over 6 is equivalent to 210 degrees. B is asking us to sketch theta in the coordinate plane. So to do that, we're going to set up our y-axis and our x-axis, and we need to figure out where does 7 pi over 6 terminate, or where does 210 degrees terminate? Well, if we think about this, so this is 0, this is pi over 2, over here we have pi, down here we have 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 6 is slightly bigger than 1 pi, right, because 1 pi would be 6 pi over 6, so it's going to terminate in quadrant 3 just past our pi. So we're going to go here, and we're just going to do an a little arc to indicate this is the way that theta is. So there is our uh, angle theta. Name two angles, one positive and one negative, that are coterminal to theta. So to do this, um, we know that if we do like a full circle, we're going to end up in the same place, and that would be coterminal. We can either do this in degrees or radians. That's really up to you. It's I think we generally find it easier to use the degrees because it's not fractions. So I'll show both, but probably you can do either one. Okay, so in degrees, what we would do is we would take our 210 and we would add 360 to it, right? That's going to be a, a whole circle going counterclockwise. And if we add 210 degrees to 360 degrees, we get 570 degrees. And then we're going to separately take 210 degrees and subtract 360 by, uh, from it because that's going clockwise, we're making a complete circle the other direction. 210 degrees minus 360 degrees would be negative 150 degrees. And so those would be two angles that are coterminal. If you want to do this in radians, so in radians we need to, what's a complete circle in radians? That would be 2 pi. So we're going to add 2 pi and subtract 2 pi from 7 pi over 6. However, because we are uh, adding and subtracting with a fraction, we're going to convert 2 pi into its equivalent with that denominator of 6. So 2 pi over 1 is equivalent to, I'm going to multiply by 6 over 6 to give me 12 pi over 6. So I want to use that instead of 2 pi, and we're going to start off with our 7 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6. We end up with 19 pi over 6, so there's one coterminal angle in radians. And then we're going to take 7 pi over 6 and subtract 12 pi over 6 from it. 7 pi minus 12 pi would give us negative 5 pi over 6. So depending on uh, what your preference would be or what your professor's preference would be, um, the two angle measures could either be negative 150 degrees and 570 degrees. Or in radians, it would be 12, um, not 12 pi, <laughs> that's the one, 19 pi over 6 and negative 5 pi over 6. How you doing so far with question 1? You loving it? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? What's next? Okay, determine the reference angle for theta. So determining the reference angle, that's the acute angle that lies in between the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So that's going to be this angle right here. And again, it's up to you if you want to use degrees or radians. Um, since I have it in radians, we can just go ahead and do that. This would be, we're going to take our given theta, 7 pi over 6, we're going to subtract pi from it. So the reference angle will be 7 pi over 6 minus pi. Well, pi is how many sixes? That would be 6 pi over 6. And then we end up with pi over 6. So the reference angle theta hat is pi over 6, or in degrees, this would be 30 degrees. Find the exact value of cosine of theta. So the exact value of cosine theta cosine in quadrant 3 is negative, right, because that would be the corresponding x value, x coordinate in quadrant 3 is negative, so cosine of 7 pi over 6 
is the same thing as the negative cosine of pi over 6. And cosine of pi over 6 is, uh, well, cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. But because it's negative, we would have negative root 3 over 2. So the exact value will be negative root 3 over 2. And last but not least for question 1, finding cotangent of theta. So cotangent of theta, if you want to think about tangent, you can do that. Um, either way, tangent or cotangent in quadrant 3 is positive. And so I'm going to do tangent and then I'll take the reciprocal since we're usually more familiar with tangent. So that means that tangent of 7 pi over 6 is going to be the same value as tangent of pi over 6, its reference angle. Tangent of pi over 6 is root 3 over 3. Uh, we're going to take the reciprocal of that for our cotangent. I think we have a little more work to do. So we have cotangent of theta will be 3 over root 3. And now we have to do a little bit of like unsimplifying. We need to rationalize the denominator. And when we do that, we end up with 3 root 3 over 3. Those will cancel. Whew, that was a lot of work just to end up at root 3. So the exact value of cotangent of theta is the square root of 3. This has been question 1. Thank you for stopping by.